so here's the video for installing and upgrading a MacBook Pro. This is the two, late 2007, um, right before they went to the um, unibody design. This is how to install a solid state drive and upgrade it from the existing uh, stock drive that came with it. Now, this is the 17 inch MacBook Pro. Uh, you'll notice that it's in pretty good condition. Um, this is the front with a slot load drive, the button. Just keep in mind, take your time when taking this apart. I'm going to show you how to do it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all the screws and everything like that, and I'll just tell you briefly um, what I did. Uh, there's no reason that you need to see this in the video, but I'm just going to let you know that there's screws around at the top. There's screws underneath the battery compartment here. And there's also screws on the side, and there's also screws on the back. Keep Try to keep your work surface clean and organized, because it's going to help putting the uh, laptop back together. First thing I'm going to do is the thing I can show you is I'm going to remove the battery unit. Keep that to the side. There's three there's screws here holding the memory compartment in. This is where you upgrade the memory. Four screws here. And then there's also three screws in here, recessed. And you should do them first and then go around to the extra perimeter and take them out. All right, so I removed all the screws. There were also uh, two torque screws uh, above the memory compartment here. Uh, I didn't realize they had to be removed too. So there's um, four sets of screws for the memory door, three sets of screws for the um, back memory compartment, then two torque screws that you have to remove. There's four long screws at the base of the unit here, and then there's a lot of little screws surrounding the unit, and those are the ones you have to remove. Be careful when lifting up on this keyboard when you get them all off. There is a data cable. This data cable right here. Just be careful you do not rip that out from its socket, which is like literally right there. It's hard to see. Set the keyboard aside. And if you can see, there's the hard drive. So this is the uh, bad boy we need to replace. Alright, so I removed the hard drive already, and basically how it gets inserted is, is that there's this hard drive cable right here, and the hard drive sits in here. There's grooves that match up here to here, so when you pick the hard drive out, what you have to do is you do have to remove one piece of um, metal here. This metal here, there's a metal bar that sits right here. You have to unscrew, to unscrew a torque screw here and there at this hole right here. This metal bar lifts out thus keeping the hard drive gave me the hard drive to slip up like this and out like this so when you take the hard drive out of the uh, computer just slip up like this and out like this just be careful that this thing is going to be attached with tape on both sides you will need to remove this uh, yellow, almost like yellow tape like this off of both sides so you can easily slip this connector off also on a side note there are it's there was this a unit located right here taped to the hard drive just peel back the tape pick this up and just lay it back all right so the hard drive is now um, ready to go I replaced the uh, contacts from the old drive onto the new solid state so we can set this drive aside all right so we have to do everything in reverse now so first things first is to connect the drive to the cable. Be very careful not to break any cables. It should, it should slide right in really easily. Then take the uh, tape that was here before, apply it to the new drive, wrap it around, make sure it's secured. Now insert the uh, drive into the column, replace the sensors back, then you can just basically apply the tape back to the hard drive like that and then install the securing bracket back into the, the drive And that's all there is to it. This is now installed, ready to go. 
Now all you have to do is basically reverse everything back and install the uh, keyboard. Now there is a little data port here, the, the data jack connection that we have to make sure this thing right here has to plug into the motherboard. Let's do that now. Line up the grooves. Just take your time. So you want to make sure this is seated back right before you screw it in. Now we can start and screw, putting the screws back in. Uh, let's put the torque ones back in. They go right here in the center where the memory was. So these are torque screws right here. So we can screw them back in. And then we can do the ones along the back. Alright, so I screwed them in using the Phillips. And now we can just go around to each panel and do the ones on the side. They take a lot of little screws. and so on and so forth. Alright, so after you put all the small screws around the perimeter of the uh, Mac, uh, then you can go ahead and replace the uh, three screws at the front bezel uh, in the battery compartment right here. Then after you're done that, you can actually replace the RAM. So they seat in there, make sure they're firm at an angle, then press down to lock it in place. And if you have two RAM chips, do the same. Seat it in place and press down. Now you can actually replace the RAM door and use the last four screws that you have to secure the RAM door. Then after you're done putting the RAM door back on, last but not least is to replace the actual battery. And that's all there is to it. The Mac is now fully assembled. You can push the button. And now you're ready to test on to make sure it actually works. What I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to install the OS again onto the new drive and I'll show you the difference between the in my other video, the boot from the standard to the SSD.